as the sun rises on a new day in the city. So rises a new hero. What are you? I am the wild blue yonder. Villain, you face the tick. The tick uh, is, uh, is the name of a show, it's the name of a character in the show, and I play the, I play the character. He's a superhero, and uh, he's uh, nigh invulnerable. He's bulletproof, he can leap hundreds of feet in the air, and um, he's got a very strong sense of right and wrong. You can't just go down there, it's like a dozen men. We've got this, uh, this chance to really do something that sort of comes from uh, like a personal vision, and that gives me a, an amazing toy box to play with. I play Superion, who's another superhero, who's a far more famous superhero than The Tick, and he's been around for about a hundred years, so he is very well known to everyone. This really is good cheese, Walter. I've done a good amount of reading on the subject. Cheese? Superheroes. Ah. <laughs> New York has such an energy to it that you can't recreate, and you get that for free if you film here. I mean, it was interesting because you have two guys dressed up like full superheroes in the middle of the street, and strangers walking by acknowledged us, but they weren't that freaked out by it. New York City, you've seen more, so people just walk by and go, hey, nice suit. You know, I think my issue with you is you're just not a team player. I mean, Everyone else in the gang got the tattoo, but not you. Every character, including, oddly enough, even the villains, have moments of kindness and sweetness and, and humanity and decency, even in the most, you know, violent, combative of situations. How can I put this? Murder. It's just not cool. It's like being in the city. It's like you, I feel like you don't ever need a set. I mean, we shot a lot on sound stages, but there's so many cool different neighborhoods and so many just visual architectural aspects of the city that it's great just to shoot inside. I think now the world is so saturated with superhero stuff and it's really dark. This actually has some serious ass kicking, but it also just actually makes you feel good and hopeful, which right now I think is very rare. So I think people can expect that. An epic tale rife with destiny, adventure, and blood loss. But with a beat you can dance to. Very cool. I know.